31 days to not being a girlfriend if you want to be a wife. 31 days. 31 days, girl. We're taking our time. We're going through this thing. 31 days to not being a girlfriend if you want to be a wife. We are on day number 20. And day number 20 says, I know that God chose me in Christ. I love that. I know that God chose me in Christ. Welcome back to Church Girls and Faith Girls Want to Get Married too. My name is Janice. I hope you ladies are really enjoying uh, 31 days to not being a girlfriend. Okay, it's it takes renewing our minds. It takes going through this thing over and over, uh, rooting out those lies, filling our minds and our thoughts with what God says and um, the promises of God and what God has for us. His plan for us is not uh, to be girlfriends, be baby mamas, running around having babies with this man and that man. But his plan for us is to be like the church, to be a wife and being a wife and having kids is innate for us, um, but he wants us to do it in his will and his purposes. Thank you guys for your love and your support. Remember, if you're registered for my mentorship program, I have a special for the month of January. You have got to jump on that girl. After January 31st, that special is gone and uh, everything will be regular, okay? So I need you uh, to jump on it if you want to do uh the mentorship program thank you for your love and your support with my books we're just going to review a few of these i'm not going to go back from day one i'm going to start at day number 13 i need a husband okay reviewing day number 13 i need a husband how many y'all know we need a husband okay it's hard for especially a woman of color because you know need a husband i don't need a man uh, day number 14 I will only date men who want to get married. How many of y'all shacking up waiting for men that told you they don't want to get married, ain't ready to get married, or believe marriage is a piece of paper to marry you, girl? How many, how many tell me the truth? Day number 15, I need to be loved, professed to by my husband, okay? You need to be loved, girl. Day number 16, I need to be provided for by my husband. Day number 17, I need to be protected by my husband. And day number, day number 18, I know that God loves me. How many of you know? That God loves you, okay? And day uh, number 19, I know that God created me for a purpose. How many of you know that God created you for a purpose? Day number 20, I know that God chose me in Christ. You need to know that you're chosen, girl. You are special. And that's, you know, that's really what it is. We're looking for love and we want to belong to somebody and we want somebody to chose us, to choose us. But you're messing and playing with Ray Ray and Tyrone and Pookie and, uh, and he just pop, get, knocking you up with babies and he going to get up and leave you and go marry some girl and leave you with your five kids. Okay. This section, I forgot to mention this yesterday. It's taken from this book, In Christ I Am. How many of you know that you need to know your identity in Christ? Let me tell you, if you don't know who you are in Christ, you will be out here running around like a chicken with its, its head cut off. And so you need to know who you are in Christ. For those of you, my other sisters who have other religious persuasion, you know, you have to take your religious book and apply that to your life. So in this, I am chosen Christ. In Christ, I am available and on Amazon. I need you guys to pick this book up, Ephesians 1 and 4. The book of Ephesians is my favorite book in the Bible. I absolutely love this book because it tells us who we are. It tells us our identity in Christ. And so Ephesians 1 and 4 says, just as he chose us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Have you ever been chosen for something like a team or to perform a praise song or dance, or to do the favorite part in the Christmas show? How did that make you feel? Think of how God chose you before he created the heavens and the earth. Excuse me. Before God started making anything else, he chose you to be his child. How many of you ladies know that God is your father? You need to make 
that be known in yourself, in your mind, in your thoughts, in your thinking, in your acting, in your being, that you are a child of God. You're a daughter of the king. <clears throat> I have a book coming out on that. Okay. Before God started making anything else, he chose you to be his child. He chose you. This is why you should not be out here running around and acting like you ain't got no daddy. Acting like you don't have somebody that loves you and care about you. God loves you and he cares about you. And it grieves his heart, girl. When you're out here allowing yourself to be mistreated and being put on clearance and layaway and wasting your life and your time waiting for some man to make a good woman out of you. You got to stop. That means you are very special and important to him. Do you know that? Do you know that you are special and you are important to God? Therefore, when you come before God the Father, you can come without blame. I know a lot of us have done some things in our lives, but we need to confess that thing and that's it. Once we confess that God don't remember, mm -mm. he said, I put, I put your sins, your mistakes in the midst of the sea, in the middle of the sea to remember them no more. So when you go to God, don't remind him of your mistakes and your mess ups. Remind him of his promises. I am holy with before you without blame. I am your child. Okay, therefore, when you come before the Father, you can come without blame. You can come to him in faith without feeling guilty or condemned. Don't feel guilty of, of your past because God has forgiven you. You have you you need to learn from your mistakes. Hmm. I had a baby at 16. You better learn from that thing. You don't need to go back and have another baby. You can't even take care of yourself, much less a baby, much less two babies. There is no need to feel guilty of the things you have done because Jesus already paid all, paid for all of the wrongs and bad things you have done. He's paid for it. God has forgiven us of our, our sins, past, present, and future. Don't live in sin. You can't talk about God's forgiving you for shacking up and you're still shacking up. Uh-uh, you're still living in it. <laughs> so you need to remove yourself from it. Okay? Uh, God has chosen you to be holy and without blame before him. What does it mean to be holy? This is a big thing, especially in the Pentecostal churches, okay? To them, holy is, you, you dress all the way up here. It's winter in Jersey, so I wear my turtlenecks. I love my turtlenecks, girl. In the winter, ooh, I love it. Uh, dress all the way down here and a dolly on your head. No makeup, no lipstick, no nail polish, no nothing. You look like you're going to the farm, basically. And to them, that's holy. But that's not what holy is. That's ugly. That's, I don't care how pretty you are. I am a very beautiful woman. I know it. I've been told it my whole life. But I still put on a little tinted moisturizer to even out my skin tone. And put just a little color on my cheeks to make my cheekbones pop. And put just a little eyeshadow on me. So when I bat my eyes to my husband, honey, he said, mm -hmm. He saw me in this beautiful shirt this morning. He came in the room because I get dressed in the guest room because, you know, I have a, a six-year-old now in the other room. But, you know, he'd be, he be in there with us. And so I, I get dressed in the guest room. And he said, oh, that's a beautiful color on you. I said, oh, thank you, honey. I put it on just for you. <laughs> okay. Holy is not the long dresses and the dolly on your head and the no pants and the uh-uh. Holy is to have the mind of Christ. You think like Christ. You think what God says. What did God say about you? What did he say about your mind? Romans 12, 1 and 2. Huh? I beseech you, I beg of you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. What reasonable mean? That is the least you can do. Verse 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What does conform mean? This world way of thinking. Ah, shacking up. It's okay. Big shacking up people. 
Say, oh, it's no big deal. My mama shacked up for 20 years. I don't see the big deal in it. Oh, it's no big deal. I lay down with Tom, the 12 tribes, and the 12 disciples, and Papa Baby out for every one of them. Oh, it's no big deal. It is a big deal. That's the world's way of doing things. God's way of doing things is, <clears throat> is marriage. God created you to get married. Especially for a uh, black woman, root out the lie that you are a strong, independent black woman that don't need a man. If you don't need a man, baby, please tell me what you need. That is a lie from the pits of hell that, that's keeping black women, women of color, single. With 70% of us single, but we have 80% of kids in single mothers' homes. So we don't need a man, but these babies keep popping up. And the church is full of single women and single mamas. That's not being married. We excuse the divorcees and the widows. We're talking about you never be married. You have you keep, but you keep popping these babies out. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. We want to do things God way. And we want to know that God chose us in him. We are chosen in God. We are seated in Christ on the right hand of the father girl. You're sitting on the right hand of God in Christ. This book in Christ I am is available on Amazon. Be sure to pick it up. Also, the naked wife is available on Amazon, pick that up for me, and uh, 23 types of guys you might meet. You need to know your identity in Christ. You need to know the 23 types of guys you might meet. I absolutely love and adore you. I have to run. Have a good day. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. Love you.